So my folks have a little piece of property and over the years we have built three different bridges across the creek so they can access the other part of their property. And I thought maybe you guys would like to see the different types of bridges because there, there are three different types and kind of what we did. So this is the third one that we did. It's easily my favorite. It's a... Uh, what I would call a truss bridge, but then also because of the angle, it's an arch bridge that gives this arch that helps gives it some of its strength. Um, I believe it's all two by eight construction for the, the strength of it. But let's look underneath this thing. Oh wow, it's a mess under there. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, it makes a nice arch over the over the creek. Let's climb up here. My dad poured ginormous footings for this thing. I think he was really wanting to make sure that things weren't gonna erode away. Um, but really nice and sturdy. I kind of wish I'd had the, the railings start a little bit higher up, but that kind of helped give it the, the look that it has. But yeah, my, my dad and I built these trusses uh, up by the house and then took them apart, brought them down here, and, and assembled them next to the creek and dragged them into place. And I don't know how we did it with that arch being so high above the creek, but the two of us were able to position everything in place and, uh, and basically bolt it all together. It's been several years now, holding up really well. Uh, the one thing I was just thinking of, it does have a little bit of little bit of side wiggle to it if you try to wiggle it from side to side but walking across it you don't even notice it um, and it's just a beautiful spot we built it right over the top of a kind of a deep spot well deep a few feet deep spot in the creek and there are trout in here so it's a uh, it's just a really great spot to come down and, and hang out and prior to having bridges over the creek um, there just wasn't, especially during high flow, there wasn't any way to get to the other side of the other side of the creek. So there's a good chunk, probably a third of the property that just wasn't getting access. But uh, but yeah, so that's arch bridge slash uh, truss bridge. And like I said, it's it's one of my favorite spots to when we get down here when we get to visit my folks and uh, and the weather's nice. You can see it's just a it's an absolute beautiful setting. Uh, so yeah, let's go check out another one. This is the first bridge we ever did. It's just a basic beam bridge. All I did was look up the span tables for decking. And if I remember, it's a, I think it's 16 feet across and it's looked like two by 12s, just two of them that, uh, that span the whole length. Now, when we first did it, we were kind of estimating and looking where the water was gonna come up. And, and uh, it was the first or second year that we had a major flood and this whole thing got picked up and, and pushed over. Fortunately, it didn't go anywhere or get too much damage, but uh, naturally, and I see there's some erosion underneath. I need to definitely need to get in here with some rocks and, uh, and back this thing up. That's something you really learn as you're being on a property with a, with a creek in it. Uh, but yeah, this whole thing will fill up and, and at this point, even with the with the height being raised up to what it is now, the water will still come up and, and not be too far from the bottom of this thing. So yeah, this is just basic, basic beam bridge, uh, does the job. But yeah, let's go check out uh, one that's uh, a little bit more complex. And finally, this is our suspension bridge. And of course, suspension bridges use cables or ropes or whatever to suspend the deck of the bridge. And here we went with aircraft cable that are anchored into the ground, as well as some poles that are anchored into the ground. Those are both in there with uh, with concrete, just like you would put a, a fence post. Um, and then, let's see, looks like two by two by six decking, and some four by fours going across every uh, every four feet or so. And then I ended up going with little uh, like all thread pieces for the vertical rather than sitting there with the cable and going uh, uh, through holes that we drilled in the 4x4s underneath. I guess I'll show some footage from there underneath uh, to lift up on that so that you have these these cables here are uh, yes they're supporting the deck but they're also here to be able to grab hold of which 
coming through here in the dark is a, is a real handy thing to have. Uh, and then, yeah, we can come along. Everything's adjustable. Everything's, we can uh, adjust the tension from these cables and adjust the tension back in because of course it's uh, well here you can see part of the see part of the concrete holding those pipes in down below and yeah I think something we didn't really anticipate and I'm sure any civil engineer would be all over this of the condition of the soil was pretty soft and so it has I mean, you, you can see a little bit of gap behind it where when we cinch up the tension on this it's uh, it's basically compressing the soil. You know, the, the pipe's not going to come out of the concrete, but the concrete can certainly move in the soil, and that's that's what's happened. And yeah, you know, it's a learning experience. It's not like we're driving vehicles over the darn thing, but it does great for what we need it for. And uh, in spite of the the sag that is part of any suspension bridge, uh, we haven't had any problems even in the the most flooding conditions of the thing being you know having the water come up and touch the bottom or anything i swear i spent months trying to figure out exactly how we were going to do these uh connections here the the vertical connections from the upper cable down to the to the lower cable and just settled on this i should have pulled these sticks off of here first settled on uh drilling for the cable to go through like this to uh, support so this this 4x4 would keep the proper distance between uh, these lower cables and then uh, uh, just outboard of that drilling through for the uh, for the vertical piece of all thread that is then adjustable for tension if we want to work on that so yeah I just thought uh, and boy building this thing man we ended up doing it in the I think it was snowing on us a little bit while we were doing it and these the uh the roots around these trees were just crazy it was the worst the worst post holes i've ever dug in my life but this is just one of those projects that we did as a family and never really thought about doing a youtube channel at that point we're all project people i'm my dad loves doing projects i love doing projects my wife loves doing projects and this was one of those things that I think is building these bridges has been uh, some of the most memorable experiences we've had as a family and certainly that I've had with my dad. And then we all get to enjoy it here um, anytime we can come out to the, come out to my folks' property. So I figured you'd all enjoy seeing some of that. I know a lot of people, they, they want to make a bridge across something and hey, I'm I'm not telling you how to make a bridge. I'm not a say I'm not a civil engineer, but uh, I know enough physics and engineering to be able to figure out something that worked for us. I'm not going to give you any load ratings or anything. Um, you still got to figure that out on your own. But I uh, thought you'd appreciate seeing what we did and how it worked out. So I'm Quint. Thanks for watching.